Welcome back friends, Katie here. I am taking you guys to the animal thrift store today. It has been hopping. They have been getting some incredible donations lately. You guys know this is one of my favorite places to shop because the proceeds go to local animal rescues. The ladies here are so nice. They do such a beautiful job in the way that they display everything. So I thought I'd take you guys for a little trip and we will see what we can find for home decor, for resale, and just maybe because we want it and don't necessarily need it. So let's get started. The first find was a need. These were 99 cents. They were brand new little kind of plastic Tupperware type containers. I use these for everything, the kids' lunches, for craft supplies. So for 99 cents, those made their way into my cart. I also got this commemorative I don't know if I pronounced that right, towel from um, Prince Charles and Princess Diana's wedding. It is linen. I imagine this was some type of promotional item that was sold in order to celebrate the event. That was $5.99, but all of the linens were half off today, so I took it home for $3. I also grabbed this really cute kind of wicker purse. It was $5.99, but I did have a 20% off coupon I could use on any items that weren't already on sale today. So I did go ahead and get it. This will probably stay with me. My daughter really likes it, so it's a cute little bag to have. Great for vacation. So that made its way into my cart. I think it's the perfect size, and with the 20% off coupon, I was able to get it for a little bit less which always makes it a great deal. I also found this little package for 99 cents of old kitchen labels. Not super old, probably 80s, 90s. But these would be used for if you're taking food to someone or if you're canning and you want to mark the items. They are absolutely adorable. I love the graphics on them. So I will be keeping these for myself. I also got two little blue egg cups. These were 99 cents each, and since they are considered a kitchen item, I got them for half off. I will most likely take these to my resale booth. If they don't sell, I may go ahead and keep them. A few videos ago, you guys might remember these microfiber cloths I got. They are amazing for cleaning. Half off today, so that one was only 99 cents. It had to come home with me because I absolutely love them for cleaning and polishing. I did also get this really cool rooster tablecloth. I love the pattern on it. I think it's a lot of fun. It was $3.99 and I got it for half off today. Something I left behind, I did love this antique picture. Uh, they had $11.99 on it, well worth it. Um, but doesn't quite fit what I have going on at home, and it was something that I left behind. I think someone will really enjoy it when they find it. I also got this little, I believe it's walnut, knickknack shelf. It was, I think, $4.99, and I was able to use my 20% off coupon. I'm going to actually add this to my vintage booth, because not only can I flip it for a little bit more, but it will make a nice display piece to put some small items on. Looking through the linens, they've had some really gorgeous napkins lately, and I'm strongly debating buying a couple of sets. We just go through napkins like crazy at our house, and I'm wondering if cloth napkins might be a good idea. I do like using them for special occasions, but I'm wondering for just during the week if they might be a good call. I'm curious how many of you guys use paper napkins, or do you use fabric napkins? Is it a pain to keep up with them? You guys let me know because this is something I'm on the fence about. Looking over in the games, they had an old battleship set. My grandma and I used to play this when I would spend the night. It is really one of my favorite games. Unfortunately, it looked like a lot of the pieces were missing, so I had to leave this set behind, but it was a great memory to see. I have been browsing the games and puzzles a lot. I do like buying old ones. And puzzles actually have a really good resale value if all the pieces are there. I thought this old mixer was so cute. Just the little chef graphic on it alone, I thought made it such a cute find. They had about $25 on that. It would have been half off, but I still left it behind. It's just not something I have a need for right now. 
Someone will be thrilled to find it. I also thought this little hand mixer was cute. Again, not really something I need, but I just wanted to show it in this video because it's a great little vintage piece. Moving along, you guys know I love scouring the metal. I love the old metal trays. I am always looking for sterling if I can find it. They did have a couple little pretty pieces I had to talk myself out of buying. I have a lot right now that I'm not doing a whole lot with. So I had to leave these behind. For $5.99, they did have a little Fire King casserole dish. It did not have the lid. Uh, the paint was in kind of rough shape. And that peach luster isn't one of the more popular patterns, colors. I left it behind, but I did grab these little Lennox bowls. They were brand new. And I thought the kids would love these for fruit and stuff like that. I actually looked these up online. They sell brand new for $15. They're absolutely beautiful, the, the colors, and they're just nice and heavy. They also had some more cereal bowls um, that also went with this set, but I didn't quite need those, so I left those behind. But I did get each of those little bowls for $0.50. Cents. I also like that little spoon holder. I just love all the little old kitschy kind of kitchen stuff. Anything with color, anything with a little character. Over on this shelf, they did have this little, um, like a worry doll, like a little voodoo doll, which I thought was kind of neat. I did not get it. I left that behind, but I know someone is going to love it. They had this great little set of ruby glass um, vases and some fun little pottery pieces. It's so hard not to just want to grab it all because they do have so many neat little things and the prices are always really good. This little pottery oil lamp I thought was absolutely gorgeous. But I just tell myself, I can't take it all. You gotta leave some behind for other people. One last thing I did grab, I've been looking at these for weeks. These are like fake onions. They look like they are like kind of dried, but they are fake. $5.99, I used my 20% off coupon, and I am putting these in my kitchen. I'm kind of going for this whole kind of earthy um, boho kitchen right now. So those came home with me, and they are hanging in my kitchen. So there you have it, another quick and fun little thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, happy thrifting!